Well, good morning, friends. It's Crystal here from Homemaking on the Homestead, and today I have a sewing video for you. I am going to be showing you how to make a child-sized apron, actually three different sizes. Last year, you may have seen my two-part video series on how to make an adult apron. It showed you how to make the pattern and how to assemble the whole apron. Well, now I have the exact same apron, but for children, and it comes in three different sizes. So I have a toddler size, which I call a small, a medium size, and a large size. So the medium size has fit my 11-year-old uh, granddaughter very well, and the small size fits my 3-year-old granddaughter very well. So between one of those, you'll be able to get it all figured out. The method of doing this is exactly the same. So this video, you're going to see me making the medium-sized apron, which by the way, you can use fat quarters to make this. So that makes it super frugal and very easy. I bought a bundle of fat quarters and from that there were five of them in there and I chose uh, four of them to make both the medium size and the small size apron. You will need approximately three-fourths to a yard of fabric for the larger size apron and two fat quarters of coordinating fabric to make the pocket and the straps. These aprons would make really easy, simple Christmas gifts for your children, your grandchildren, your nieces uh, or nephews. Uh, I want to make some for my grandsons as well because they like to get into the kitchen and help mama uh, with all the cooking and the baking too. And while I was at Walmart, I saw fat quarters that were John Deere tractor fabric and so I know my grandsons would be thrilled with uh, with aprons made out of that. To begin with I chose one fat quarter as the apron, the main part of the apron. I ironed that out and then folded that the long way and then I ironed in a crease on it. Now at this point I take the two sides that are the raw edges and I am going to measure from the top towards the center four inches and mark that with a pin. Now I am going to measure down the fabric where the raw edges are together. I'm going to mark that one at eight inches. Then you fold both pieces over and iron them from pin to pin. And at that point, you're going to cut that little flap right off. And this is going to form the top of the apron. The next step on this is to put a hem in it uh, all the way around it. So I start at the top of the apron, I fold over the raw edge and then fold that over again. It's about a quarter of an inch or so. And then iron that down real well. Now you're gonna skip the area where you cut and go right to the side of the apron. And again, you're going to fold in the raw edges all the way down and then you're gonna roll that over, iron that so there's no raw edges showing. Then I turn the apron around and I do the same thing on the other side. And now finally I do the bottom. And you see I didn't even cut off the selvage edge because it really doesn't matter. You're going to be rolling that under and it will never be seen. So I folded that over and then once again fold that all over. Now it is time to take this to the sewing machine and we're going to sew down all those hems. I started at the top and just sewed straight across. And then I went to the sides and my next job was to sew the sides and around the bottom and back up the other side. When I get to the bottom, I just stop and put, make sure my needle is down and then I can just pivot the fabric around. I do a little bit of back stitching at this point to make sure that it is stitched all the way to the edge. Oh. 
and I repeat the process on the other side and then sew up and now the whole apron is hemmed and we are going to work now on making the casings on those sides that you cut for the for the strap you're going to fold that over an inch and a quarter so the area that you cut at the top of the apron gets folded over one and a quarter inches then you open it up and just turn over the edge and lay it back down that was, that was about a quarter of an inch or so and now you're going to do the same on the other side and then the next step is to sew those casings down. So right along the edge, you just run a seam down and it will make a little pocket that will be used to put the strap through. And there we're ready. That part is all done. Now it's time to move on to the pocket. So I took another fat quarter, ironed that out and folded it in half the long way, just like I had done to begin with. Now I marked down, I believe it was seven or eight inches. I have it all written down below and I cut that part off. That's going to be my pocket. And what I have left over, I am going to cut into three inch strips to be able to make my strap out of. So since my fabric was longer than the ruler I was using at the moment, I just decided to fold the fabric in half. And now I cut three inch strips. And of course, one strip was done on the fold, so I cut that one right on that fold line. And I have six straps. Now for the pocket, we're just gonna open that up, put a quick iron down on that crease and put it right sides together and iron that crease in. We are going to be sewing all the way around this pocket other than leaving a little hole. And somehow I forgot to turn my camera on. And so in that little opening that you, that you need to leave, you turn that pocket right side out and iron it down and fold in the area that you had left open. There it is. This is gonna be the top of the pocket. So we're gonna put one seam right across the top of this pocket. And then mostly this is going to be for looks. You can see my seam there. We're going to put another one and you're gonna just run it a quarter of an inch from the edge of the fabric. And mine was kind of crooked, but hey, it works. <laughs> then you're gonna fold your, your uh, pocket and your apron in half so that you know exactly where the center is to make sure that you line that up correctly. Then you measure up from the bottom, uh, I believe it was four inches, and pin that and you're gonna sew all the way around to sew your pocket onto your apron. There we go, we have a nice little pocket on our apron. Now we're going to make the strap. So to begin with, you're gonna take all those three inch pieces and sew them together end to end. I'm just kind of chain stitching them, which is to just not stop and start at each one, but just to keep feeding them through until I have one big long strip. Now I take my strip and I press open all my seams. Starting at one end, I fold this strip in half, wrong sides together, and I iron that all the way down the length of this strap. Once that is all done, I open it up and now I fold my fabric each side in towards the center of that first original iron ironing line mark and I iron that down. Mm -hmm. 
And I almost forgot to show when you're at the end of each piece of this strap, you need to fold that in so that you don't have any raw edges showing. I continue to do that all the way down the strap and in the same way, fold in the raw edge and fold in each side. Now you take the whole thing and you fold it in half and you have no raw edges and you didn't have to turn a big long tube inside out. So it's really an easy way to make a strap. At that point, I sew all the way down and across on each end. And my strap is done and now it's time to feed it through the casing. I put a very old diaper pin that I still have in my sewing kit and I feed that through one end of the side of the apron there and I pull it out and then feed it in the other side down so that it makes the neck strap at the top and the tie straps at the bottom. And just make sure that the strap doesn't get twisted as you're doing that. But there you go. You have one cute, adorable little apron in that uh, is being shown off here by one cute, adorable little granddaughter. Okay, this is for the large size apron. And I cut down 28 inches on this. This is one yard. It was a little over a yard of fabric that I had uh, on hand. And again, same process. This time I go in four inches and I go down 10 inches and I cut that piece off. So you just follow the exact same process. Now using my fat quarters for the first one I used to make the pocket. And again, same process. I fold it in half and iron that and then I cut this at the designated amount and you need two pieces for this one because you're going to need two pieces to make a pocket. Uh, it was a little bit longer, wider than I needed so I trimmed off some of that and there you go. You put those two pieces together, right sides together, and sew them just like I showed you before. This one gets pinned about four inches up from the bottom. And the only difference in the large size apron is I run a seam down the center so it ends up being two pockets, more like the adult apron. With my second fat quarter, I used that one to make the straps. So again, I ironed and folded just like previously, and I cut them into three inch strips. So I used those four strips, same method as before, and made my strap and fed it through. And there you go. You have one large size apron. My granddaughter is 13 years old. She is rather tall, but the apron fit her just perfectly. And now for the toddler size apron. Again, this is one of my fat quarters that I had folded in half. I trimmed off the sides and the bottom to make it a smaller size. And again, those all those sizes and numbers that you will need are in the description box below. This one was 18 inches long by 14 and a half inches wide. I then came across three inches from the top and went down six inches along the side. And just like before, we fold that in and iron it, and that gives us the shape of the apron. Now, this is the coordinating fabric, and from this, I was able to get the pockets and the what I needed for the strap. And again, I did the same process. I took the fabric I had left over, and I cut that into three inch strips. And for this one, it comes up from the bottom of the apron about three inches. I sewed that on, I made my straps, and there are the three aprons that I made. Okay, so I hope that this video was a good, clear explanation on how to make them. I spent probably more time and more went into more detail on the 
two videos that I made last year. So if there was something that wasn't clear to you or you didn't quite get, make sure you check out those videos because like I said, the actual process is exactly the same. The only thing different in these aprons is the size. And down below in the description box, I have given you the sizes of uh, the rectangle that you'll need and the size of the pockets and what you how the size that you need to do the straps. If you make one of these aprons, I would love to see the pictures. Uh, you can send it to me in my email. I've already had a, some of you do that, send me your pictures. Uh, I would love to show them, but uh, you know, let me know if you give me permission to do that. All right, well, if you uh, found this to be helpful and like the video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. That really helps my channel. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like my content, would you consider subscribing? I would appreciate that a whole lot. Okay, you guys, I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.